Hello, welcome to White Threads Floss Tube number 69. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad that you're here for this series that I'm doing on introducing the projects from my forthcoming book, Friesian White Work, Dutch Embroidery from Friesland. It's really good to have you along for the ride. Today, I, as well as introducing uh, the next project, I thought that I'd talk to you a bit about what you do when you're embroidering. Now, this came about because a friend of mine asked me recently, when you're doing embroidery and when other people are doing embroidery, is it better to have music with words or music without words? And my answer to him was, it depends. Uh, if you're wanting to concentrate on something you've never done before, if you're learning something new, then you might not actually want to have any music at all. You might want to have silence or you might prefer to have music without words because they're not going to distract you. But then some people would be fine having music with words. So really, it depends on who you are and what you're doing. So it also made me think, what else do people do when they're embroidering? The things that I do when I'm embroidering, um, I sometimes listen to the radio sometimes and that could be usually for me it's music with words um, I also really like listening to podcasts there's a particular podcast that Australian ABC does uh, called Conversations with Richard Feidler and Sarah Knofsky and in it they interview a person each day a different person and just explore an aspect of their life and I find them interesting because I think people are inherently interesting so I really enjoy listening to them I also do watch TV sometimes. For very many years, my husband and I didn't have a TV because we didn't feel that we needed one in our lives. We had enough to do without um, having a TV. But these days, I think I need a little bit more entertainment. And so I often stream TV shows on my computer while I'm embroidering. I particularly do like watching Nordic Noir, but um, that can be a little bit difficult when I'm embroidering because I need to concentrate on watching the subtitles on the screen as well as doing my embroidery. Seeing I don't speak uh, Swedish or Danish or Norwegian. Uh, so yeah, that can be a little bit difficult, but I do enjoy that. Um, you might find that it's easier to embroider in silence and a lot of the time that's what I do I just have no music no entertainment of any sort at all because I just get lost in the embroidery and that maybe that's what you do too so what is it that you enjoy doing do you like watching TV do you like listening to podcasts or audiobooks do you like listening to music and if you do do you prefer with words or without words it's just something that I thought might be interesting to explore a bit. So today the project that I am going to show you from the book is a pendant. By now I'm sure you know that I love embroidered pendants. I love making them and I love wearing them. So today the one that I have to show you is this one here. You probably can't see that. I bet the camera hasn't refocused on that. But if it hasn't then I will put in some pictures so that you can see it. So I'll take that off so that I can actually talk about it a bit easier. Okay, so this has a wooden pendant tray this time. All of the ones that I've done previously have metal pendant trays. So this one's a bit different and I just wanted a different look this time. Uh, like the red and white uh, Smoig pendant that I have in my Smoig book. The idea of this one was that it, it was as if you had found an old piece of embroidery and cut it up and put it in your pendant to make a special thing out of it. Now, I haven't cut up anything for this. This was designed specifically for going in here and the stitches that it's got are this channel stitch, there are satin stitch stars. Now the thing about satin stitch stars, which you may or may not have noticed, in Frisian white work the stars are always stitched with diagonal stitches. And that's something that's quite characteristic of this style of embroidery. If we were looking at Hardanger embroidery, those stitches would be in line with the grain of the fabric. And here they are not, they're diagonal. 
So that is something that's quite different about this style of embroidery. There are also some eyelets. I think there are both four, yep, they're four thread and six thread eyelets, which means the four thread ones go across four threads that way and four threads that way, and the six thread ones go across six threads that way and six that way. So they're different size eyelets and they're done slightly differently. Uh, the other thing we have here is a single feather stitch border, that is this across here. And down the bottom here we have some top winder stitch, which I think creates just gorgeous texture and pattern. The pendant is worked on 40 count linen with a linen thread. It's an 80 over 3 London Dairy linen. So it's quite fine, but I wanted it to be reasonably fine so you could fit a fair amount of detail into a small face, sorry, small place. Uh, if it was a larger count of fabric, so a 28 or a 25, you'd get a lot less detail. And when you've got such a small space, I wanted to make the most of it. So that's why, why it's on quite a fine count. I haven't worn this yet because I wanted to keep it special so that it could be photographed for the book and all that sort of thing, but I will enjoy wearing it when I get the final chance to do that. I will be selling supplies packs for these pendants, so when you're ready to make one you'll need a copy of the book and then you can get the supplies pack from me. And that will be the case for most of the projects in the book as well. They won't be available as kits as such because that would sort of seem to indicate that the instructions will be in there. You'll actually need a copy of the book for the instructions so that's not me trying to be tricky and make extra sales it's me trying to be helpful to you so that you don't have to find all of the individual supplies to make these three things I will make it easier for you by putting together supplies packs for them so I hope that's whetted your appetite just that little bit more I'm sorry to those of you who think I'm being a terrible tease I'm actually just filling in the time till the book is available with showing you what's in it. I don't mean to be annoying and I'm sorry if I am, but I hope for most of you this is an enjoyable series. So thank you very much for joining me to get today again and I'll see you next time. Bye.